Here are some notes on atrial septal defects and patent foramen ovale. We'll talk about two types of atrial septal defects. The first is ostium primum atrial septal defect. This one is relatively rare. It's located in the inferior portion of the septum, and it's associated with cleft formation in the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve. So that's an association you might see on board exams. The next type of ASD is much more common, the ostium secundum atrial septal defect. And this is the septum secundum in the background for reference. This one is more common. It's in 75% of all ASDs. It's located in the middle portion of the atrial septum in the region of the fossa ovalis, and it's associated with mitral valve prolapse and regurgitation. Lastly, the patent foramen ovale. This is a result of failure of fusion of the septum primum and septum secundum. Functionally, the closure should occur shortly after birth, and anatomic closure should occur at two or three months of age. In comparison to an atrial septal defect, a patent foramen ovale has the tissue. The tissue of the septum secundum is present. It's just not fused. 25% of adults have a patent foramen ovale, and it's largely untreated. This risks having paradoxical embolisms, which can cause strokes.